I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and 2015 has been a very interesting year. Companies have done an amazing job at raising the bar of their smartphone quality, and price tags have actually begun to drop. We've got great cameras, we've got great designs, we've got great build quality. But the biggest question is, can we actually narrow these down and define a perfect smartphone for 2015? So off the bat, let's just be clear, no, we can't define a perfect smartphone because the needs of people are different. There is no such thing as a perfect thing in this world. And as technology evolves year over year, so do the needs of people. Think about it. 10 years ago, we would have never considered having cameras on phones, and uh, now we judge a smartphone for its camera quality. The concept of a smartphone alone was uh, completely unknown to us many years ago, and now it's what we all want. We actually did a little experiment here at Pocket Now because we all come from different countries, different backgrounds, and we have very different tastes. We asked each editor if they would stop working for Pocket Now today, and they had to pick one phone to use for the rest of the next two years, which one would it be? What would be that ideal phone that they would trust their time over the next two years? You're going to be shocked with the responses. Michael Fisher's our review extraordinaire. He needs no introduction. He's pretty much tested the hottest phones this year, and out of all of them, believe it or not, he chose the BlackBerry Priv. Yeah, I know, the BlackBerry Priv. Surely there are no software updates guaranteed, but according to Michael, the design is great, he loves Blackberries, he considers himself a weirdo, and uh, he loves the community that's backing BlackBerry up to the point where he has a lot of expectations over the future of the Priv, even if BlackBerry doesn't do a good job at it. Anton, on the other hand, decided over the iPhone 6S. According to him, he wants good battery life, a great camera, he wants good performance, and he also wants a fingerprint scanner that actually works all the time. And according to him, the only phone that's able to do all that in a package that's not the size of a phablet is the iPhone 6S. And trust me, he's tested pretty much every Android phone out there as well. And uh, yeah, he inclines for the iPhone 6S at the end. Our own Adam Dowd was torn between the Galaxy S6 Active and the Galaxy Note 5. The Active is probably one of our favorite rugged phones this year. It brings great camera quality, great battery life, and uh, a design that only a mother could love, but far better than any of the other ones out there. The only problem is that he values that camera quality with added security features as well, and even Samsung Pay. And uh, the only phone that could actually bring all that matched up was the Galaxy Note 5, and we kind of agree. Adam Lane is our own Windows Phone expert and even a professional photographer. And according to him, if he had to pick, he would choose the Lumia 1020 from two years ago. Up to the point where he actually has a Lumia 1020 in its box ready in case the one that he's currently using has a problem. According to Adam, there is no phone out there with a better camera than the Lumia 1020 and uh, the build quality is also top notch. Obviously, if we asked our own designated Android expert, Mr. Joe Levi, what his preference would be, we kind of knew it would be the Google Nexus 6P. And we don't blame him. Google finally figured out the Nexus lineup with this phone. They've got great build quality, a great display, an amazing camera. And the price tag is not necessarily that bad, but obviously you have to start at the entry level. So far, this is one of our favorite phones this year and uh, definitely a good idea if you want to continue with stock Android for the next few years. And if you ask Mr. Jules Wong, after testing a ton of really good phones this year, he actually inclined for the Alcatel One Touch Idol 3, and he makes a very solid point. Surely this is a budget-minded premium mid-ranger, but you're not really cheaping out here. It's a great 1080p display. It's a great experience with the JBL speakers. Uh, the performance is top-notch, in addition to great battery life, and the price tag will not burn a hole in your pocket. It's probably one of the best phones of the year if you are looking for that budget-minded tier, and I know a lot of you are. 
And finally, even though I'm infamous for being the group's iPhone guy, believe it or not, the phone that I would pick would be the Galaxy Note 5. And it has to do for a couple of reasons, starting with the fact that the company finally figured out essentials like the camera quality in addition to the performance of that camera. We've got great build quality, great battery life, and we actually have a great suite of applications that back the S Pen up this time, even though you're rarely ever going to use it. TouchWiz has gotten better, and I just feel that you are getting more for your money. For me, productivity is a big deal, and I find it pointless for you to pay money for a phablet and not get an enhanced experience for all that screen real estate. I feel that no other company does it better than Samsung when it comes to that, uh, but then again, that is just my two cents. Bottom line is, yeah, believe it or not, even us in the industry battle over what our perfect smartphone should be because, again, we come from different backgrounds. Our needs are totally different and we all live in different parts of the world. So just as we have different choices, we know you do too. And we would love to know that in the comments down below. Which would be your top pick, your ideal smartphone for 2015 if you would have to choose that phone for the next two years? Leave us a comment down below and while you're at it, make sure you also follow us on social media. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.